guys welcome back to my channel the slow week trader in this video i'm going to analyze my forex trading week from for the 19th to the 23rd of february starting with the power and the yin on the daily time frame i identify this high over here the, in the history and from the recent points you can see that and uh, they make a new high from this level so there are three points total i think they would be interesting in trading activity in this level so i call this a key level zone over here and from the daily time frame you can see that the price has broken above the key level let's say that the key level now is like resistant it broke above the resistance so i'm very bullish on the power and the yin so about the entry i go to the h1 time frame and i can see that there's a downtrend from the recent points so you can see there's a clearly downtrend over here and price has broken the trend line also the price also breaks the previous high so i am very positive that the bullish will continue so next week i think that i will find the buying position from this zone The real one the reason that makes this trade possible more i'm most positive about the police on the power and the yins if from my previous trade with the euro and yin on january let me show you guys so over here you can see that uh, it has some similarity with the power and the yin you see the high the high price break above the zone so and then we have a downtrend over here price break the downtrend right retest the the high price break the zone and so this would be a buying zone for my last my last trade so this is for the power and the yin here with the analyst with the euro and the yin uh, i see that you can see that from the history there's a downtrend big downtrend over here and the downtrend started from when it breaks this low this low so this would be it would cause a a strong resistance so let's just see that uh, let's say that is a key level also you can see uh, the price re retest the resistance make a new make this high over here so this zone again is very uh, has made, has a lot of trading opportunity and for a daily time frame i can see that the they they are uh, bullish candles daily but it's very weak suggesting that the buyings the buyers are going out of strength so no not no long position at the moment and i think uh, this week i will focus on more the shorting position for the euro and the yin uh, so we, if we look at the lower time frame we can say that uh, i can say that it's making a uh, a pattern a flag pattern over here so we have the zone big zone over here big resistance 
and then the sprite is making a pattern and if you go to smaller time frame you can see a flag over here a racing flag I think that if we want if I want to make this the, the short position successful I'm looking for an entry so maybe something like this it breaks the pattern it retests the pattern and it, it will fall my entry would be around this area over here this area over here or I can find some if you don't have the time there's uh, another way to find this and the entry for this this pair uh, we have a, a resistance over here from a uh, resistance over here if the price they it broke it breaks the pattern the flag sometime maybe reaching this this zone I think that it will cause a big drop big drop so again if you miss the entry the early entry in here you can find another way to enter the short position from this pattern because they will cause some manipulation over here just so I give you that the idea of for the trade for this pair and what you guys need to risk management and capital management uh, another pair that I want to analyze about is the goal the goal this is very interesting because after a huge a huge bearish go starting to temporary on the bullish side and I will, will analyze why is uh, running for the buying positions if you look at the daily time frame or maybe the weekly you can see that this is a a strong support over here for a weekly time frame so price break the trend line the downtrend the downtrend the downtrend so there's a a high over here a low over here a new high so this zone is a strong support and you can see in the weekly candle the, the goal closing above the support if you go to a lower time frame you can see the entry for the possible trade I'm, I'm making I call this a break and retest strategy break. I missed this trade by the way <laughs> so you can see that the price making a new high after it breaks the this small resistance to make it and support so it breaks and it makes it this one and that's the support support zone so and last friday there was some news for the usd uh, bad news so it breaks and uh, it um, it bearish and then it retest the zone over here and you can see it pull is quite big so if anyone interested in go uh, you can you can look for long position for go next week that's it thank you you guys for watching this video